Beat it, I think what up, beat it, I think what up, beat it. What is going on, my brodies? It is Andrew of BDAT Production Publishing, bringing you guys a brand new YouTube video. In this YouTube video, I'm going to be going over um, how to figure out the key of either like a sample or a song when you don't know the key. So, um, in this video, I'm going to actually be using the AT Dark Space Sample Kit as a reference point on figuring out the keys of some melodies. <clears throat> so I'm going to turn down my headphones, I mean speakers, real quick. Okay, so I got this, uh, let me see what this one, yeah sure this one. So right here, let's just act like we don't know the key. Now it tells us it's C sharp minor, but as I said, if we didn't know the key, one way of doing it just inside FL Studio, so not with any third party plugins. We could do the edit. Go to edit. Go to regions, detect pit re pitch regions. Oh, so now it gives us all this. So F sharp, B, C sharp, F sharp, A, A. I mean, so you guys can go here and look which one is the most prominent one, and it's not a guarantee that it is that key but because i've had numerous occasions where it wasn't the key or some of these uh pitches were not 100 percent accurate it might have been off like like one or two um notes so uh it's telling us all these notes so let's pull up our um oh i don't know just anything where's a uh, piano roll uh what am i looking for fl keys sure um, just real quick. So if I go into piano roll, helpers, scale highlighting, C sharp. Uh, so we got the C sharp, D sharp, A, G sharp, F sharp. So if we look back at it, go over here, A, 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 G sharp, C sharp, it looks about right. Now, as what you're probably thinking right now, it's like, oh, that's, that's gonna take too long. I don't want to just go through and and the scale highlighting is only available for 12 point 12 and up FL studio 12 and up so I mean like if you don't have that then this uh, way of figuring it out wouldn't work the benefit of doing that the long way like this is that over time you'll recognize patterns and you'll be like oh that's just gonna be C sharp minor because I know all those keys are in that C sharp minor scale um, and of course samples and songs can change scales throughout but this is a good foundation i'm kind of figuring that out um now for third party plugins and something that i think is a little bit quicker there's a windows program called key finder it's a uh, batch file which a batch is just another ex uh, executable file kind of like a .exe. so here's the uh, key finder folder uh, that I have it installed on my desktop. So in the key finder folder, we see um, the application right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click it, run it. So you're gonna get this uh, kind of window. So in order to uh, kind of, in order to uh, figure out the key, you gotta drag and drop the audio file. So I'm gonna go to my audio files. sample kit so we're saying the grain yard one D flat minor which is C sharp minor so that's pretty much um, how you guys could figure out the keys uh, I believe key finder is just for Windows but they probably have a Mac version I mean if not then there's I know there is a another key finder program which would work for Macs. Um, we use it over at the studio because we use all Macs over there for recording computers. So yeah, um, I 
mean, that's pretty much it, I guess, uh, for uh, figuring out the key for this video. If you like it, be sure to comment, subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and be sure when you subscribe to also click the notification um, bell thing so you are updated whenever we upload a new video. Hopefully, it's going to be pretty frequent. So, yep, this is Andrew. I'll see you guys later.